We are back with another vinyasa today. If you have any requests, please let me know. Anything you want to work on today. I have had external requests for gooey and stretchy. I know you guys are feeling it. Feeling a little tender. <laughs> I'm back again with my friends today. It's just so nice to practice together, you know? So we're gonna start in child's pose today. So when you're ready, you can make your way there. Big toes touch, knees wide. Take your hips to your heels. No, 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 we're not, we're not jumping on doors, Bubba, get down. We're not doing that. So child's pose, big toes touch, knees wide, hips to heels, and take your fingertips right to the edges of your mat. So pinky fingers to the edges, and then try to run and extend your index fingers a little further forward. Take an inhale, send the breath between your shoulder blades, let your back body rise. As you exhale, activating and pressing down into the floor through every fingertip. You let your forehead fall heavy. Let your shoulder blades melt away from your spine. Again, deep breath in, expand the back body, create some space. And exhale to press and activate down into your mat. External rotation from the heads of your shoulders. When you're ready, lift up your torso, walk both hands over towards the right. Left fingertips reach a little bit further forward. Take a deep breath into the left side torso, open and expand. Keep your hands glued where they are on the floor and pull your rib cage towards the left. Right shoulder, right hip slide a little bit closer. and then switch, walking over towards the left. Right fingertips reach a little bit further forward. Left shoulder squeezes towards left hip. Take a deep breath in, open and expand through the right side. Create a little more space, a little more stretch with your breath and then exhale to ease in. Pressing the rib cage towards the right, rolling your right shoulder down and away from your ear. Slowly come back into center. Forehead falls heavy on the floor and taking a conscious moment to give your practice purpose, set an intention, or dedicate it to someone you love. When you're ready, take an inhale, round and curl up, tabletop. Find neutral spine, so shoulders over wrists. Knees under hips as you inhale, let your belly drop down, shoulder blades squeeze, lift your eyes, lift your chest. Exhale, press back, round and curl. Squeeze the back of your legs to help you curl that tailbone under, press up and out of the floor. Good, again, inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, lift your eyes, lift your chest, really stretch out your belly, all that core work from yesterday. Exhale, press and round. Follow the belly back, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, belly drop, shoulder squeeze, eyes and chest lift. Exhale, round and curl. Slowly come back to center, neutral spine. Look forward, lean forward, three modified chaturangas. Taking your time, don't rush, forward and down. Three, two, pause at 90, but no lower and then press back up, three, two, and one. And you don't even have to go to 90, we come back forward for two, three, two, pause at 90, shoulders away from your ears, you pause where you feel it. Inhale to lift. Last one, look forward, lean forward, modify chaturanga, or you stay here, or you tuck your toes and float your knees, we hold, three, strong legs. Good, press away from the fingertips, two, Nice, all the way down to the floor. Untuck your toes. 
Inhale, lift up. Cobra, shoulder blades squeeze, collarbones wide. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. And release. Two more times. Inhale to lift, maybe a little higher, maybe not. Elbows press back and squeeze in. And release. Last one. Inhale to lift up, Cobra. We pause here. Shoulders slide down your back. Pull the heel of the hand towards your hips and try to slingshot your chest forward. Really stretch. Good. We press through tabletop. We go back. Child's pose. Hips to heels. One breath in. And one breath out. Round and curl, tabletop. This time we tuck the toes, we float the knees, just an inch. Wake up the backs of your legs, muscle hugs bone. Elbows wrap back, arms hug into the midline, watch those elbows that you're not locking them. Little micro bend. Look forward, press forward, keep your hips high, straighten your legs, shoulders way past the wrists, and then hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a second here to work it out. Bend one knee, straighten the other. And don't be in a rush. As you inhale, lift up high to both tiptoes. Roll your sit bones a little higher, melt your heart a little closer to your legs and then drop both heels over to the right. So you bend your knees, you can try to stand on your feet, your feet don't have to be flat, but keep pressing your chest towards your thighs, lifting your hips up and back, just like you do in down dog. Left side torso stretch. Inhale, high to tiptoes. Heels drop over to the left, soften the knees. Keep trying to create space between you and the mat. Left side contracts as the right side expands with the inhale. Inhale, high to tiptoes. Roll your sit bones a little higher, melt your heart a little bit closer. And then keeping your heels and your tailbone high, start to soften your knees, turbo dog. Long spine, pressing up and back. Come back to hovering tabletop, knees hover, elbows wrap back, hold. Look forward, press forward, high plank, shoulders past your wrists. Lift the hips to go up and back. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to meet your feet, very back edge of your mat. Any arm variation you like here. So you can take ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows and just hanging. You can grab behind your head like when you do a sit up, pulling your chin to your chest, lengthening the back of your neck down. If you practice your leap frogs and you're already ready to get into it, you can take a few little handstand hops to hover. Otherwise, you're staying in that forward fold, using gravity to your advantage. Decompressing spine. When you're ready, walk yourself back out. Downward facing dog. Inhale, we move forward, high plank. Chaturanga, drop your knees if you need to. Quality over quantity. Three, two, pause in 90, don't rush. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, high to tiptoes, look forward. Bend your knees, walk or jump your feet to meet your hands, top edge of the mat. Big toes touch when you get there, heels have some space. Inhale, we come up, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale to fold, pull yourself in. Bend your knees, head and hands stay heavy and we slowly roll all the way up to stand. When we get to the top, shoulders up, back and down, palms face forward, Tadasana. Take a deep breath in, reach up and look up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, flat spine. Hands to your mat, step back, high plank. Chaturanga, low plank, slow. Inhale, don't rush. I'm already seeing y'all in up dog. Take your time. Exhale, down dog. One breath in, one breath out. High to tiptoes, look forward, 